This is a question that a lot of people in Nepal are asking. Is Nepal drowning under the Chinese debt trap? Now, what is happening at this moment is that huge loans doled out by China is, of course, costing the people of Nepal dearly. And Vyond spoke to the Foreign Minister of Nepal on the key issues relating to the Belt and Road Initiative and also the U.S. support in the region. While some of the big projects in Nepal have been completed using Chinese loans, there are many which have been stalled due to negligence by the Chinese authorities. Now, it's been over six years since the Belt and Road Initiative was signed between China and Nepal, and that changed with the inauguration of the Pokhara International Airport earlier in the year. And Beijing made a unilateral announcement to keep the airport built with the Chinese aid under the BRI framework. But the airport was funded by a loan of nearly about $215 million from the Chinese Exim Bank at an interest rate of about 2%, which is significantly higher than the rate of interest loans that is offered by other lenders such as World Bank and the Asian Development Bank, which charge an interest rate of anywhere from 0.25% to 0.75%. But remember, loans given by the World Bank come with other caveats, especially about compromises which a nation will have to make in terms of how it governs its economy. In 2019, the Chinese-funded hydro project in Nepal was developed with a concessional loan of about 116 million American dollars from the Chinese Exim Bank, payable over a period of 25 years. Recently, China had announced that it would provide about $612 million to Nepal. And this is part of the financial and economic assistance that was promised since 2008, rather than providing Nepal any new financial aid. The money is to be utilized to help complete the infrastructure projects. But the Chinese loans funded projects in the country have in fact become a bit of a worry for the new government in Nepal. Like the Trans Himalayan Network, which costs more than 10% of Nepal's GDP, China has said that it will only accept grants and not loans for the big projects, while China is yet to pay heed to its requests. We have seen what happened in Sri Lanka with the fear of the China debt trap and uh, how to go about with the further economy. Do you, do you ever think that Nepal will fall under the same parallel or will face the same challenge? Uh, we uh, we have a priorities in economic development. Uh, uh, we will choose the viable projects, and uh, in the big and large project, uh, we will not uh, take the risk. Uh, such type of project, if any country will provide us in grants, that's okay. Uh, but uh, uh, we will not take the risk in uh, uh, in investment of such a big. Uh, uh, projects and there is no uh, any viability to success. Apart from the Chinese investment, the US aid to Nepal has also come under the scanner. Last year, the parliament had ratified nearly about $500 million grant under the MCC Nepal Compact for energy transmission and road development projects. And this was met by protests over fears that it could, of course, drag the country into joining a military alliance with the United States against China. We are a uh, non-aligned country. Uh, we are uh, no more any part of any military uh, alliance uh, in the world. Uh, if there are economic and other type of relations, we are very close to uh, the Western countries and our neighbors. Uh, but if uh, there is a military alliance, we are not joining, uh, uh, we are not any part of uh, that kinds of uh, relations. Uh, there was uh, some confusion about uh, um, MCC and it was um, uh, removed uh, from the mind of the people. Uh, it was a grant. Uh, there was no any um, thing like military or any kind of intervention. It was a fairly uh, economic package. Uh, and, and I don't think uh, that such type of package are any uh, taking such type of economic cooperation is any problem for Nepal. Now, whether this is the classic Chinese playbook of debt trap diplomacy or U.S. interest in Nepal, the new government hopes to strike a certain semblance of balance, and it remains to be seen as to how far it will be successful in this venture. Thank you. Thank you.